Hey, this is Jesse, the creator of Serum FM Wavetable Studio. This video will explain what the program is and how to use it. I originally developed this program as a school project. I hacked it together quickly so I could use it to create more complex FM sounds than Serum's stock FM abilities allow. When I was happy with its abilities, I considered selling it, but the thought of doing so stressed me out, so I decided to make it donationware instead. If you would like a feature to be added, or you would like me to fix a bug with the program, email me about it, and maybe donate a little money. If enough people donate and or want a feature, I'll add it. I don't have any idea whether this program is something people would be interested in, so I don't want to spend time making it great just yet. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Okay, so the program opens with a sine oscillator. You can preview your sound by first picking a preview note and then scrolling through the wavetable with the wavetable scroll bar. You can also pick a preview note by playing on a MIDI keyboard. If you have more than one keyboard hooked up, your keyboard may not work with the program, at least not in version 1.0. The list in the top left hand corner of the program shows all the basic oscillators involved with your wavetable. If the oscillator has a finger beside it pointing to the right, it is being mixed into the wavetable. That's why the default wavetable you're seeing here creates only a sine wave, because there is just one boring old sine wave being mixed into the wavetable. But if the oscillator has a finger beside it pointing down, it is modulating the wavetable below it. Let's see what it looks like when we modulate this sine oscillator. When I click the add button, a triangle oscillator is automatically added above the sine oscillator. I think triangles make good modulators, so I made them come up by default when you click the add button. To make this triangle oscillator modulate the sine oscillator, I will move one of the sliders that say FM amp start slash end. You can see in the waveform below that the sine oscillator is being mangled by the triangle oscillator, but we want the sine oscillator to get mangled slowly over the course of the wavetable. To do this, we will untick the box that says keep equal FM amounts. Now I can take the FM amp start slider and move it to zero. When I scroll through the wavetable, the triangle oscillator is modulating the sine oscillator more and more over time. This is basically how the program works. You might be wondering why the triangle says triangle divided by 10 instead of just triangle. Well, as anyone who has used FM synthesis knows, a little goes a long way. It doesn't take much for an oscillator to sound screechy and horrible, so I've given every oscillator type the option of being 10, 100, 1000, or even 10,000 times as quiet as normal. There are a few other features I didn't mention. You may have the output level of an oscillator change with time using the out amp sliders, which work just like the FM amp sliders. Whichever oscillator has the highest out amp value will be the loudest in the final wavetable. In other words, you can use the out amp sliders to mix oscillators over time. I don't use the out amp sliders very much, and it's hard to explain how they work, but you might like them. Just make sure your final oscillator has them turned up, or you won't hear anything. You may delete oscillators or move them up and down with the arrow buttons and delete button. You can also change whether the sliders morph from start to end linearly or in a curvy way using the FM morph and out morph drop down boxes. This is good for if your wavetable sounds too screechy too fast, for instance. You can change the harmonic of the oscillator, which is very important, and you can tick the invert phase button to invert the phase of a single oscillator. Usually this doesn't make a huge impact on the sound, but I didn't know that when I programmed it. You can also load or save your work using the load and save buttons. They will automatically save in your user folder in a subfolder called Serum Wavetable Recipes. I have included some of my own wavetable recipes in the download. And finally, when you're ready to export your wavetable into Serum, just click Generate and your wavetable will be highlighted in Windows Explorer. Drag this file to one of the oscillators in Serum. The file called folderinfo.txt that was created alongside your wavetable tells Serum how to import your wavetable. So there's no need to worry about entering frame sizes or anything like that. Just click and drag. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think of my program in the comments. Thanks.